Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. I've seen the comments. You guys all want me to get a dragon pickaxe. So in today's video, we are going to be killing Spindle. So Spindle is a weaker variant of the Venonatus boss that can be found in the wilderness. Now, what's the reason you would want to actually kill this boss? boss um the wiki's saying you can actually make about 5 million gp per hour but that's obviously if you get very lucky with some of the drops now the big ticket items people are after are the dragon pickaxe which is a 1 in 358 chance and then we also have like the fangs of Venonatus. we've got the the ring and then we also have the void waker gem which is 69 million gp other uh notable drops are dark crabs super restores and then just a bunch of alcables and runes cannonballs are always nice as well um and then they also drop a lot of good noted items um we're talking gold ore 180 at a time which is amazing we got magic logs onyx bolt tips which come in at 300k we got grimy snapdragons unicorn horns red spiders eggs so this could be a great boss to camp for herbal or secondary ingredients and some other cool ones if you're an iron man account you get like 60 super compost noted some antidote plus pluses yeah just some cool drops like that also because you are in the wilderness you can get some of the blighted food which can help you uh, last at trips longer definitely comes in very handy and then of course the pet is a one and uh 2800 drop now I'm going to try and explain the fight the best that I possibly can when I'm actually showing it in the video, but I want you guys to take a look at the strategies that the wiki is showing. Basically, it will use melee, range, and magic, and then it will have two kind of special attacks, one being a sticky web where it will kind of put a big web on the ground, and you will take damage constantly, get your prayer and your run energy drained, so you really want to try and avoid that. And then also they will spawn uh, spiderlings which are just these very little annoying creatures so basically what spiderlings are are they're kind of like the bats when you go ahead and get the fire cape basically so what they do is they will increase the max hit uh, and allow them to hit through protection prayers and also they will drain one prayer for every single attack regardless if it hits or not so basically you want to try and kill the little spiderlings as quickly as possible because they're very annoying. So this is one more thing I want to take a look at before we hop right into the guide is this is kind of the way her moves go. So she will begin the fight by using 8 range attacks um, following by 8 magic attacks and then all while moving position every 4 attacks and then she will spawn spiderlings on the first range attack in the cycle and then deploy her web on the third mage attack in the cycle so you kind of will get used to the pattern it sounds a little bit confusing but it gets easier trust me and if you stand right beside her, you're going to want to pray against melee because she can hit you with melee as well, of course. Um, so the suggested skills the wiki recommends is 90 combat, 70 HP, 75 range, 80 strength, 75 attack, 70 defense, and 94 magic. You definitely don't need that, though. Here is the melee setup the wiki recommends. I will go ahead and show you mine. And also, here's the inventory that the wiki recommends to bring is a stamina potion, divine super combat, a sand fuse serum, um, some blighted super restores, sharks or carm wands, a looting bag, darts or throwing knives, a royal seed pod, different teleports around the game. If you want, you can bring the vengeance runes to cast vengeance, and if you would like, you can bring a special attack weapon. Okay, so this is my personal gear setup. Remember, you are in the wilderness, so only take what you are willing to risk. So I bring the Helm of Nezinot, an Amulet of Glory, the Myth, the Myth's Cape, Mythical Cape, the Rada's Blessing. I bring the Abyssal Bludgeon, and if you do not have the Abyssal Bludgeon, feel free to use the Seracnus Cudgel. It just won't be as accurate and won't hit as often, but this is definitely a way cheaper alternative. Then I bring the uh, Proselyte top and bottom for the Prayer Bonus, because you're going to be using prayer the entire time um barrows gloves you could go down to dragon rune even mithril or adamant would work as well if you want less of a risk and then dragon boots again these could be switched out for something like climbing boots feel free feel free to also bring a ring of of choice you could bring a ring of life or something like that doesn't really matter 
Now, as for my inventory, um, I bring a super combat potion, two stamina potions, I bring 100 mithril darts, um, I bring a burning amulet to get there, three prayer potions, once you get better, you can bring four or five and get less food, um, and then I bring a royal seed pod to escape quickly, and then I also bring some house teleport tablets to get back to my house and you know banking and stuff like that and then i fill the rest of the inventory up with food i personally take sharks all right so i'm going to show you guys on how to actually get there now i'm currently recording this video on a friday night which is probably not the best time to do wilderness content well so we'll see how long it takes us to find a free world i start by using the burning amulet to teleport to the wilderness from here um this might not be the most efficient way of getting here, but it works for me and it doesn't take too long to actually get to the boss itself. From there, you want to run completely north. You could right now drink a stamina potion dose if you like, but you, you, might, you might take a while to find a world and then by that time that happens, your run energy should be back up. So kind of start heading a little bit uh, west when you get up here make sure you don't get hit by any of these ends which they can damage you for a little bit but uh you know just keep running up this way and the place we're actually going to on the map is right here the web uh place the web dungeon so just head up here now you won't be able to see uh if there's somebody in the cave until i think it's 20 kills maybe it's 10 um but you know you will have to go in and then of course there's going to be someone in there you have to run out you're going to take some damage so once you get 20 kc you have this little option where you can click peek and it says you peek into the darkness and everything seems quiet the cave is empty that is very rare usually you're gonna have to hop worlds like five or six times before you get that message okay so we're gonna actually do the fight now and i'm gonna try and explain it the very best that i can and the main thing you want to look out for is when he does spawn the spiderling that's when you want to pray range when you're away from the boss and then when he spawns the web on the ground that's when you're gonna want to pray mage from the boss that's pretty much the best way that helped me actually learn how to pray properly oh quick thinker okay so i finally found another free world never mind same guy i think Okay, so I'll try and explain the fight the best way that I possibly can. So you're going to want to start off by using protection from item, melee, and then piety and wait for the boss to spawn because I already killed him once. And once the spider comes in, you want to start by attacking him and then killing off the little spiderlings with the darts as quickly as you possibly can. You're going to want to try and stay by the boss at all times so that you don't have to actually pray magic or ranged that much. And you can try and stay in the melee distance and it's just way easier that way. Try and follow the spider around. This is the way that works for me anyways, right? And then when his special attacks come out, I'll try and show you how to properly do them. And just pretty much sit and AFK the boss. And then when this web comes out right now, you want to pray magic and try and follow the boss again. And once you get back to his uh, range, you can put back from pray melee on if you step in that web your run and your prayer will be drained and you'll be hit with a three every single tick so it's just not a good time try and stay out of that web uh at possible so now you're gonna want to kill these little guys again and if he runs away we're gonna be praying from range this time but if you can just try and kite him around and follow him it's as easy as that so we're gonna try and kill this guy as you can see the bludgeon does wonders here it just really hits like crazy it's one of my favorite weapon or places to actually use the bludgeon anyways and the spider is almost dead he has 100 hp left we gotta run out of the way from this but pray for magic on and head back up to him and melee it's, it's very easy man once you really get used to it it's it's an easy boss right there's really not too much that can go wrong so that's what happens right there when you are in the web and now you're going to want to pray range head up to the boss and kill off the spiderlings actually we probably didn't need to because he's only at 6 hp but anyways and it's as easy as that um it does take a little bit of getting used to obviously but the good thing about this boss is he drops a ton of foods so you can actually extend your trips for a very very long time I'll go ahead and do one more kill as an example so we're going to start it off right here kill off the spiderlings and then attack spindle you can throw a special attack on there if we need to already drained him about 100 damage or about 50 damage and just kind of watch what he does it's it's really as simple as that right so now i have to come up here and attack him i will grab this blighted garm one or blighted whatever the hell that was 
And now we need to get out of the way of the web that comes in. Fray for a magic. Drink a stamina potion. When we're in range again, pray for a melee. Follow the boss around. Spiderlings come out, kill them with the darts as quickly as possible. And now if he runs away from us, we will be praying range. Oh, that was uh, convenient timing there. Hmm, he's got some high defense or something. Sometimes you never hit the boss. Seems like it that way anyways. But as long as you stay very close to him, you won't get hit as often. The only times that can be annoying is when this thing comes out and you gotta pray for magic, avoid it. That's why the stamina potions here definitely come in handy. But pray for uh, melee back on. Follow the boss. We are hitting nothing. It's very, very annoying. And spiderlings come out. Kill them off very, very quickly. Pray range. And pray melee. And he should almost be dead here. Maybe dragon pickaxe. Please, Jagex. Please, please, please. Never lucky. Some strange fruit. Interesting. So what I'm going to do today is reset my loot and also reset my experience. Try my best to do this for a full hour. Obviously record if we get PK'd or if anything interesting does happen. See how much money we can make and how many kills we can get per hour. And uh, yeah, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully I get a dragon pickaxe. Hopefully I can get some better kills. Pick up the speed a little bit. But anyways, hour starts now. Ooh, our first decent drop, Onyx Bolt Tips coming at 300,000 and some more Blighted, or some Super Restore so we can stay here even longer. What the fuck? No way we got the pet! 69kc pet! <laughs> well, a little random part to this video, but anyways, I can't believe we got the pet. We're gonna chuck it right into the house right here. Damn, that's insane, bro. 69kc pet. Okay, we've got like 30 seconds left. I'm just going to teleport out. Okay, so we managed to get a total of 24 kills in the hour. I did pause it for a little bit when I got the pet because I was a little bit excited here and there, of course. Um, so it might be just slightly over an hour, 24 kills, and we managed to make 842,000 GP. We did get one decent drop with the Onyx Bolt Tips, but other than that, it's just regular drops, right? So even if we were to minus those, it's still like five, 600,000 GP in just the regular drops. And you have the chance of landing that like 60 plus million GP item, plus a dragon uh, pickaxe, which is like 5 million GP as well. So honestly, it's a boss that makes consistent money and has a chance to make you millions. And I mean, it is a Friday night and I did have to hop a decent amount of times throughout the hour, right? So say we had a perfect scenario world where we didn't have to hop at all. We might have even been able to push 30 kills in an hour, right? You know, you kill it in like two minutes. Some people can probably kill it a lot quicker than I can, depending on the gear and whatever you bring and how skilled you are at the boss, right? But just with hopping worlds, with banking and stuff, I managed to get 24 kills, 842,000 GP, not too bad. And some trips, I would, you know, last two, three kills and I'd have to rebank. And some, I'd be like, you know, eight, nine, ten kill trips because I just kept getting potions. I kept getting food drops and it was great. Uh, I At the end, I started to take a bit more prayer potions and less food because I, you don't really use too much food there if you know what you're doing, right? If you mess up a lot, you land up in the web, you're not praying correctly. Yeah, you're going to use more food, but if you know what you're doing, you use a lot more prayer than food. So I started taking five prayer potions, three, four stamina potions. Yeah, and that's what I ended up doing at the very end. Now, if we look at the experience, we managed to get 53,000 strength experience from a boss in an hour in the wilderness where there's a lot of banking and teleporting out. 
not too bad to be completely honest with you that's one thing i do really like about using these types of weapons the bludgeon and the uh, the other one i forget what the hell it's even called you train strength right it's an alternative to train strength rather than the abyssal whip so if you need some strength experience definitely check out this boss use the abyssal bludgeon and you can always sell the bludgeon after you're done camping the boss really rick also, we gained 18.6 thousand HP XP and 2800 range just from throwing the regular knives. I noticed like halfway through the video I was using rune knives. Definitely don't do that. Use mithril or even cheaper. It doesn't really matter. You're always going to hit them guaranteed every time. And then the odd bone I'd bury, I gained 180 prayer experience. Would I recommend killing Spindle? A hundred percent. I think it's a really good boss that you don't need too many requirements for, or you don't need the best gear in the game, right? Like, I mean, I took the Abyssal Bludgeon. You could definitely take the Cudgel and, like, still get similar kills, maybe five less an hour or something like that, depending on your RNG and stuff like that. And your the other gear, you're not going to take much because you don't want to risk a lot, right? So you can take some, like, one, two, three expensive items, and the rest you don't really care about, right? Like, I don't give a fuck if I lose this Nezzy Helm or the Dragon Boots or whatever it might be, right? So you don't need a lot of money. And the good thing about Spindle is you learn a lot of p about pvm in different scenarios it's really good for prayer switching learning different mechanics so i think it's a boss you should definitely get into at like a mid-level account right and you can learn a lot from that right like there's so many bosses in the game that i learned and they help you with other types of pvm just like prayer switching getting to know your inventory management and stuff like that spindle's a really good boss to learn i wouldn't say it's hard right there's times in the hour i was afking and i'm like oh i realized i'm in the web and now i have to bank early and stuff like that right but if you are paying attention and you it's a really good boss to definitely learn pvms prayer switching and stuff like that it's just super good definitely would recommend killing spindle i got really lucky and managed to get the pet at 69 kill count that's absolutely insane but will i be returning to the boss yes i want the dragon pickaxe and i will be camping spindle until i get the dragon pickaxe but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video today hope this helps and i hope you can kill spindle and make a lot of money and have some fun i will catch you guys in the next video see ya later.